I am Gandhi SS, working as assistant professor in ASM College, Karate. Now we are going to discuss one topic from Shisha, that is a abstract class. Abstract word indicates that something is not visible, but we can use it for particular purpose. Now we consider abstract class. To define any abstract class, we must use the keyword known as abstract. Now, if you want to define any abstract class in C sharp, you must use the keyword abstract. Then what do you mean by abstract class? An abstract class is nothing but incomplete thing. That is, some part of an abstract class is not defined. That means, any method, at least one method, must be incomplete. That is, its implementation is not given. If any such method within a class, if you define incomplete, then it is called abstract class. The classes can be declared as an abstract by writing keyword abstract before the class name. So, we can write one example of the abstract class as given here. Now, consider class A to be defined as an abstract. We may put the keyword abstract before the class keyword or name of the class. Then within a body, whatever the members we may consider, those may be implemented or may be kept as the incomplete. But here, in the body of this class, abstract class, at least one method must be incomplete. That is nothing but its implementation should not be given. If you consider like this certain abstract class, you define anywhere, then such abstract classes can't be instantiated. Means what? When you create such abstract class, then you can't create its object. That means we can't instantiate, instantiate it. Now, if you consider that way, an abstract class provides a common definition of certain methods or members, and those members can be shared among number of classes. Those are derived from that particular abstract class. In a such a way, we may define number of such classes known as abstract classes and those classes compose one concept known as a framework. If we observe that particular Java or C Sharp or that particular Android, there are such so many abstract classes are defined and provided to us as a framework. Those abstract classes having certain incomplete methods or non-implemented methods we are going to implement and make those classes as an useful. Now consider that particular as like that abstract class we can take in account certain abstract methods. If you consider any class defined as an abstract, the method which is incomplete or which has no any implementation means body is not there, then that method also must be specified as an abstract. Means what? That is any class abstract we define then that class must have abstract method and that method must be specified as an abstract by using keyword which is put or written before that particular name of that particular method. Now, an abstract methods are defined by using keyword such as a abstract and that keyword must be written before that particular name of the method. Here in example, we define that particular class A as an abstract by putting that particular keyword abstract before class name as well as that here we define one abstract method such as do it without that implementation and specify it is abstract by putting the keyword abstract before that particular name of the method such as do it. Now, if you consider abstract methods have no implementation, this is an important thing that is whenever you define any abstract method then its body must be replaced by semicolon. Now come across that derived classes derived from abstract class must implement such all abstract methods. If you want to define new class which is to be derived from such abstract classes, then any method within this class as an abstract that should be completed, nothing but you have to implement those one. Now come across example of this particular such abstract method. When an abstract class inherits one of the method is given, then if you come across that particular such abstract class having that particular certain method such as a virtual. Now come across such as a one class such as base class having that particular virtual method and from that base class if you are deriving one more class that is nothing but derived class from the
base class and that derived class is abstract, then one method which is virtual to be redefined in that particular derived class, then that method also specified as a override and that method you can define as an abstract. In this example, base class is defined with the do it method with its complete implementation. But from this particular base class base, we are deriving that particular class derived. And in this particular derived class, we are going to specify this particular base class method do it as an abstract. And if it is, then we have to specify it is to be override and this is nothing but base class virtual method. Further, we are going to use this particular abstract overridden method of that particular base class such as the base in further class such as my derived, then we can define this particular method completely, but still you have to override which is defined in a incomplete definition in a derived class, which is earlier defined in the base class. But while you are creating the object of my derived class, then if you think to call this particular base class method that is a uh, do it, it is not possible to call it since it is overridden in abstract class and further it is implemented in a my derived class. So, in my derived class, this is available means whenever you create my derived class object, then only that particular my derived class do it implemented method can be executed or called. Then you come across that if virtual method is declared as abstract. And it is a still virtual to the derived class as an earlier case, derived class having that particular method and it is derived from the virtual class that is overridden from the virtual class. Then it is derived from the abstract class that is in case of that certain virtual method you derive in a derived class and specified as a virtual then it must be overridden. A class inheriting an abstract method cannot access the original implementation of the method. As in example, suppose you consider base class having that particular do it method implemented, further you derive derived class from that particular base class and it is taken as abstract and you take in account further derivation and you trying to access the base class method, it is not possible. That is, do, do it on a earlier class can't be available to us in a later derived class. Then next one, an abstract class can post derived classes to provide new method implementation for virtual methods. That means whenever you consider any methods you are going to redefine in a derived class, those methods in a base class must be virtual and you have to complete the fuller definition and make useful by redefining it in a derived class. In this way, we come across the concept of abstract class as well as concept of uh, abstract method which is useful to design framework for developers okay uh, in this way we discussed that plus some points from our uh, Zisha and now we will uh, now we are going to stop our discussion